Hello and welcome back to Ryrick TV. Now, there's no getting away from it. The past year has been very difficult for us all. At one point or another, we've all struggled. And I think we're all very guilty of not talking. So today we're doing something a little bit differently. I'm on the way to meet Jack and we're gonna go and just have a chat. And to go and have a chat, I thought I'd bring out the most quirky, fun car in our fleet. This is our little Huey. So without further ado, let's go and meet Jack. Jack, how you doing, mate? Not too bad. How are you, Matt? I'm good. First question I have for you. How have you ended up here? Because I don't see a car anywhere else. <laughs> um, I've walked, because it's the okay. only thing I'm allowed to do at the moment. From lockdown. <laughs> yep, walked all the way here. <laughs> Glorious day. I set off very early. It's a long walk, that <laughs> It's a long walk. But uh, the reason I've asked you to come here is, I think it's good just to have a chat every now and again. Yeah, so, couldn't agree more. Yeah, so, so first question, how have you been over the last 12 months? Um, found it challenging at times. Um, a lot going on, but yeah, yeah I, I know I'm quite fortunate to still have a job at the end of all this, yeah. um, to have been able to, you know, be furloughed and pick up work pretty much straight yeah. off the back of that. Yeah, see, I was, I was very fortunate that I was furloughed for six weeks right at the very start, and then that was it. So I'm so fortunate, I make no mistake, I know I'm so fortunate to have been able to work pretty much throughout yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that Rybrook looked after us, really. Uh, yeah, like they I said, have. I, as you know, I started and did what, four weeks? Yeah. <laughs> that was was, it. Here's your letter, go home furloughed yeah, for the much. best part of six to And then more eight or less, months. the last next time I saw you was M3, M4 shoot. Yeah, and then they brought me back, and yeah. I, there you go. That's a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the new M3 and M4. Crack yeah, on. So, yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 pigs and troughs. So yeah, yeah, I definitely. had a baby during lockdown as yeah, well. Yeah, congrats. Was, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a big, that's a big thing. Yeah, that was, yeah, difficult times. He spent his entire first five months of his life have all been in lockdown and stuff, so. So that yeah. leads me quite nicely onto what are you most looking forward to then? Now that restrictions in the UK at least, don't know about everywhere else, are starting to ease now. Um, getting out with my son. Things like yeah. the Chester Zoo, as you said, I live in Chester, right at the doorstep yeah. of the zoo. Just getting over there and spending some time with my wife and my son. Yeah. Outside of our house, outside of our own garden and stuff. Um, going to meet my parents and her parents so yeah. you know our son can meet his grandparents. Those sort of, and then obviously yeah, getting to the pub in the big house <laughs> with all the lads. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Meeting up with everyone just, and being able to see people yeah, again, just enjoying isn't it? Like, social life again. Yeah, as I say, like it's just been such a strange time. Yeah. Like it, as humans, we're social animals. Yeah. Like we we need we need contact, and to to have it all stripped away over the last twelve months yeah. has been so difficult for so many people. I mean, I'll admit that I had a few. I've had quite a few wobbles over that time, yeah. and it's just you've got to talk about it yeah, and that's yeah. something that i was never very good at and yeah. that's why we're doing this today is talk and if you need any help out there you need to talk the link is in the description to mind the charity which helps out with mental health so please use that link if you need any help but no exciting times ahead though mate yeah very especially with this channel ahead. and everything yeah we've got so much new stuff planned we I mean, do I've, we I've do just spent the last couple of days driving around the the, the new defender yep. uh, the hard top the commercial and i see you've brought there she is huey along big huey yeah. What a thing. Absolutely. You've not driven this though, have you? No, not at all. Not no. this one, no. Driven the new one, like I say. Yep. Um, video should be coming out uh, next weekend, actually. Yep. Um, but I've not driven the old one. So, can I have a Should go? Should we? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's Brilliant. do it, mate. Let's do it. Go on, then. What, what do you think of it? So, the brakes are made of blancmange. <laughs> the steering doesn't actually feel like it's connected <laughs> to anything. It's loud, it's cold, it's windy, but, but I love it. I get it. I, <laughs> yes! I fully understand it. And I I'm exactly the same. Yeah, it's, yep, yeah, I get it. I get the appeal. <laughs> I enjoy it. It has a purpose and it's very cool. I love it. I think it's so, so cool. Yeah. And they've done a great job with this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could live with this for a while. This yeah. would be a good, fun little car to, to own and have in the yeah, garage, it would. wouldn't it? Definitely. So, let's talk about what's coming. So this year, what, in terms of cars, are you most looking forward to seeing and driving? To seeing? Mm, either. Um, I think that one is going to be the McLaren Altura. I'm looking forward to that. Um, McLaren's first hybrid. Yeah, V6. Yeah, V6 yeah. hybrid. Um, so I'm looking forward to having a look around that and 
Do That's a couple yeah. of weeks away. A couple of weeks for that nice. one. Yeah, that'd be um, cool. This is going to sound silly given the access to the cars that we get here at Rybrook. Um, but the car that I'm most looking forward to driving on the horizon is the new 128Ti BMW 1 Series. No, I, I completely agree. And I'm a little bit gutted that you're doing that one, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I just really, really want to drive that. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to getting behind the wheel of that because I've driven the, the performance ones, uh, you know, the, the M135i, uh, yeah. like yours. Yeah. Um, I've driven those. Um, I've driven the old M140i. I've driven a lot of Volkswagen Golfs in my time, yeah. including the GTIs. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what BMW have yeah. done to, to compete in that segment. Yeah, definitely. You know, BM, on the subject of BMW, it's going to be very controversial because I'm a massive petrol head. I'm looking forward to seeing the i4. The i4? Yes. Yes, yep, I can That's see that. That's going to be well. really cool. Yep. BMW are really ramping that up now. iX3, i4, yeah. and yep. the iX. Loads of electric cars coming from them. Loads of stuff coming out yeah. there, isn't there? There's a lot to look forward to. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the Huracan STO. All right, yeah. Lamborghini, that's going to be a special looking thing. Yeah. Um, but they're all pretty soon, to be honest. Yeah. Just looking forward to the end of the year. We're kind of a little bit in the dark about what's coming. I think the manufacturers have got a few things up their sleeves, which we don't know about yet. Um, so it's, it's going to be an interesting one. It's um, going to be a good 12 months for the channel. Yeah, I think we've got a lot of good content coming through. Um, now there's two of us working on it. Yep, I so, agree. There's a lot of content to come. There's, there's so much cool stuff coming. Tom Ingram, yep. access to Tom Ingram, amazing. If you haven't watched Tom Ingram's video on the M3M4 yet, use the link in the top of the screen to check that out. Yeah. What a guy. I'm looking forward to meeting up with him again and uh, yeah. Yeah, shooting some more footage with him. Yeah, real great guy. Yeah. Interesting to hear what he has to say about the cars as well. Yeah. Really, really interesting. But no. I want to put him behind the wheel of a Lotus and see yes. what happens there. Lotus, the best kept secret in Rybrook. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so we have Lotus dealerships yeah, now, by the way. <laughs> so hopefully going forward, we'll get hold of a couple of Lotuses and do some really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, but no, so much exciting stuff, so much cool stuff coming. Um, but no, the, the premise of this video has been just to have a chat, really, a little little update. And another thing before we go, podcast. We've got podcasts yes. coming. That's going to be really cool. Myself and Jack are going to be just chatting cars. So. Stay tuned for that, and we'll uh, we'll update all the links and so on, and we'll update you as soon as that comes out. But yeah, but yeah it's been uh, it's it's good to chat. It's good to actually have a bit of a proper catch up with each other. We we obviously work together, but we just always a million miles an hour. So it's nice just to sit down and have a chat about some of the things that's coming soon to Rybrook TV. Yeah. Um, but no, I'll say it again. So important to look after your friends, your family, talk to each other. It's so important. But. There is light at the end of the tunnel now. We're nearly out of this. But yeah, once again, link is in the description to Mind, the charity with mental health. But yeah, plenty of cool stuff to come with the channel. So, myself and Jack will catch you all very, very soon. Don't yeah. forget to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Subscribe. Click below. We'll see you soon.